with Steve. Now, Steve, you guys have a new camera out there. You've been really delving deeply into video now, mm -hmm. and this camera uh, is another option for those on a budget. Absolutely on a budget. We just introduced this at midnight last night. Uh, it's a brand new D3200. Uh, it's a 24 megapixel DX format sensor. Uh, it does four frames per second. Has our uh, a continuation or an improved version of the guide mode that we introduced in the D3100, uh, which is just really, really handy for anybody who's not really familiar with how to set a camera. It'll guide them through the process by end result. Uh, in other words, if you want to shoot uh, uh, slower shutter speed, it will describe and actually show you photographs in the menu of the type of pictures you want to take to guide you through the process and in the process learn how to better set the camera. But of course, so, it has so a it's a good, great camera for, for the Intel shooter that is maybe never looked at getting a camera or just had a point and shoot before? This is, this is a great entry level camera for somebody who's moving up from a compact camera or maybe they've got an older generation DSLR, they want to move into something a little newer. Uh, it provides full manual, semi-automatic and full automatic control as well as the guide mode uh, control. It also has scene modes in it to simplify the whole use of of the camera, of course. For video mode, uh, it does have some really impressive features for a camera at this price point. Uh, including 1080 30p, also shoots at 24, and it has a 720, 60, and 30p uh, mode. As you can see, we've even got a, a stereo mic jack so that you can accept our uh, ME1 or any stereo microphone can be plugged right in. Uh, so it's an awesome camera for anybody on a budget who wants to not only shoot great still photographs, but get into the video game as well, for sure. So what's the price point going to be on this? $699. Talk about a nice price point. Now this is not the kit lens that comes with it, but this is uh, one of our uh, best DX lenses. There's a 10 to 24, which is a great lens for shooting movies. Uh, and uh, of course this takes a complement of AFS lenses, so it enables uh, full autofocus, matrix metering. All of those great features you would expect from Nikon are uh, in the new D3200 with an incredibly uh, high resolution 24 megapixel DX format sensor. Our coverage of NEB 2012 is brought to you by Kessler, innovative tools for filmmakers. Lettuce Direct. It's better with lettuce. LettuceDirect.com. Next light. Get lit. Now, you guys have also introduced uh, your higher end cameras that offer uncompressed. Uh, HR, I should say, clean HDMI out yes. for using external recorders. Yes. Tell us about that process. What made you guys choose to go that route? Well, we, you know, look, look, obviously we have been listening to a lot of the customers out there and the sort of things that they want. Uh, so we decided that this is a great way, a secondary option. Now we've, now in addition to that, I'll back up and say that we've uh, incorporated B-frame compression in our H.264 codec so that we've improved the look of our uh, in-camera recorded files, which uh, out of the D800 and D4. Just look remarkable. Uh, but the option for those who are using outboard digital video recorders, we've made provision to remove all of the overlay information. It's a full range output. Uh, you can uh, adjust all of the settings at 95% or 100% output uh, and, and coming right out of the HDMI, you don't have to go through the H.264 compression that's normally applied to your files. So comes out as an 8-bit 422 file, which is uh, certainly a little bit higher quality than you would record to the cards at 420 uh, in the camera. So, And it gives you a lot of flexibility to be able to record into the type of file format that works in your NLE, I think is a big time saver, if, if nothing else. But of course, the quality is better as well. Absolutely. Now, you guys have been stepping into video kind of gently with having that clean HDMI out that's offering a huge benefit to filmmakers. Uh, what can maybe you tell us about the future for Nikon and filmmaking? Well, I can tell you that we're here to stay. I can tell you that you'll see a lot more products. I mean, if you had asked me yesterday what was coming, I'd have said, I can't tell you, but here we introduced a brand new 3200 overnight. The D3200 was introduced at midnight last night. We can't talk about any future products, but I, I think that we have demonstrated by showing up here at NAB for our first time having a presence here, receiving all this great feedback. I think people are really excited to see us here. Uh, I know that there's been a lot of interest in Nikkor lenses, no matter what kind of camera people are using.
using. Nikkor has been uh, used in the film industry for a long time. So we're very excited to actually have a camera that we can offer so that people can mate their lenses directly to a Nikon body. And I think that the, uh, the response has been overwhelming. We're going to send that uh, that sort of response back to the factory in Japan, and of course, uh, that will hopefully inspire them to continue making great products for this uh, this community. That's great to hear. Glad to have another list on the name of uh, different cameras to choose from as a filmmaker. Absolutely, we're we're really happy to be on that list too. So great. thank you thank very you. much. Our coverage of NEB 2012 is brought to you by Cinebay, tools for filmmakers and photographers. Della Luce, apparel for filmmakers. Zeiss, we make it visible. We're at Alphatron with Edwin. Now, you guys have a EVF. We've seen a lot of EVFs out there, but there's some unique features on here that make it not only a great tool, but a great affordable tool for some filmmakers. Exactly, exactly. We have uh, the, um, the Retina iPhone uh, display in it. It's a 960 over 640 resolution. We have uh, HDMI in and out. We have SDI in and out. We have the loop through, and this makes it, in fact, yeah, one of the highest in the market. So now, the Retina display, that, that is very unique. You're able to cram a lot of pixel density in there, making it look, uh, especially when magnifying it through such a, a loop like this, yep. you know, you see those pixels a lot more defined. Yep. So having that um, is definitely giving you guys an edge. How did you manage to, to achieve that and why has no one else been able to? Yeah, well, we have a very close cooperation with TV Logic and they are the market leader on, on monitors, and um, we are selling a lot of product from them in, in the markets that we can distribute. So since last year, we were in, in, in contact with them and said, let's, let's make something that's not there. And um, the screen came available also. That was also a nice coincidence. And so we took it up and we developed, 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 and we just before the NAB, we had some working models and we can show it over here, and it's hilarious. Everybody's reactions is, is unbelievable. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, obviously, as an EVF, you're going to want pro monitor features. What kind of features is this going to have? Well, we have uh, the assist, pro, uh, focus assist is on it. We have uh, the waveforms. Uh, you, you can check whatever is, let's say, that we have on specifications from the viewfinder monitors that we have from, from TV Logic. Almost everything is in it. Now, I've seen high resolution EVFs before that cost several thousand dollars. What's yes. going to be the price point for this? This is going to be in US uh, 1395. Wow. And so I think this is a it's a price which is yeah. That is, is really also for the higher DSLR market, it's it's still affordable. Absolutely. Yeah. So what's the availability? Where can people go to find out more? Um, well, we have uh, designated uh, distributors and we can find it on the website. It's it's www.alphatron.tv. And um, let's say for the U.S., we have, we have four distributors. You can buy it approximately from June this year. Right. Well, thanks for your time, Edward. No problem. Thank you very much, too. Stay tuned for more coverage fresh from the floor.